When I was growing up, I always liked to draw, always. And I spent just hours like in my room doodling and doing different things. Then when I got back from the military, I, I don't know what changed, but I really felt like I wanted to be an artist. I felt like maybe that was the best way to share it because I, I wasn't a very good writer. I was like, no, oh, this is what I'm gonna be doing now. I had no actual reason to be doing what I was doing. I just enjoyed uh, like spending time alone and I've always enjoyed the act of making something and like the challenge of trying to make nothing into something. And a lot of people have asked me like, why, why did you join the military? And I really haven't been able to come up with a very clear answer. I was just thinking about like, what am I gonna do in my life? How am I gonna, what, like, what am I gonna do? And I just didn't have any idea. And, I, and there was just a recruiter there. And I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. I got back, I just knew I had to be an artist. I was kind of self-taught where I watched a lot of YouTube videos. I guess I read some books. I bought some like academic drawing books and I taught myself how to do a lot of the, like those things. And then I went to graduate school, which was a really academic, like kind of rigorous, very demanding training. I wanted to go to school and I really wanted to just paint. And you know, I felt like if I was in the military and I had gotten deployed again, it would just interrupt that whole process. And I wanted to just focus and uh, become an artist. This show is basically three of my series. I felt like in order to be able to talk about such a complex subject, I just needed to make more than one kind of work. So I ended up working in this kind of unconventional style. I would just want them to look inside themselves and just reflect on what, it, what the images mean to them. 